colour that you would have seen already if you already watch my videos and if you don't then -da -da, welcome to the corner of craft in today's video I'm going to show you how I achieved this hairstyle once again I don't know what it's gonna be called um, but it's got nice bright green down here which looks more green in person it does on camera because my camera hates green it's got purple it's got a bit of blue and then it's got pink as well I did something a bit different to how I usually dye my hair I usually go either random chunks all over or I ombre but I had enough of both of those things so I just randomly sectioned my hair and put dye on it and hoped for the best in this video I'm going to show you how I dyed my hair it starts out with my hair already bleached I already have a video on how I bleach my hair I recommend that you go to a professional um, bleaching chemicals and nothing to mess with you can seriously harm yourself if you don't know what you're doing not just your hair but like your scalp and you can get chemical burns and it's, it's not fun so go to a professional for that um, but this bit of dyeing hair the fun bit isn't damage well no it's not damaging at all it's not dangerous it's not anything before we get started don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe I'm trying to get to 20,000 subscribers so it would mean a lot if you subscribe to my channel well you're not here to watch me waffle on about my hair let's learn how to do it let's get on with the tutorial shall we okay so please excuse my makeup list spotty face I am human and my skin hates me at the moment um so this is my hair this is how yellow my roots are this is the color it is um, it was this colour, but then I bleached it out. If you can see my laptop in the background, it's because I'm going to put on some a bit of Geordie Shaw to watch whilst I dye my hair, because I've got back into that, so thanks Zoella. But this is my hair colour currently. I bleached it yesterday. Colours that I have, and I don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm a little bit stressed. But I've got violet. These are all by directions. Um, if we get that to focus, wonderful. We have violet, we have lagoon blue. This is what has stained my hair. We've got a bit of rose red. If you focus on what you meant to. There we go, got a bit of rose red. And then apple green, and apple green is my fave green. I really enjoy it. Um, but I don't know what how I'm going to put this all on my head. I'm a little bit stressed out. I've got my orange squash to calm my nerves. It could be a disaster. It could be a great success. Got my towel, this is what I wipe my hands on. It's just an old towel that's already stained and covered in bleach. So I'm just going to randomly section my hair, see what happens. So I have this section at the front, I have this section which is over where my parting is, I have this section, so this might not be straight, I don't really care, I've got this section and then this section, yeah, let's think about this for a second, let's do that, so this bottom bit's going to be green, this bit's going to be purple, this bit's going to be blue and this bit's going to be pink, so I have Tupperware that I use specifically for hair dyeing. I have conditioner, which is definitely conditioner, because last time I accidentally got shampoo. The reason it's in German, I got a lot of questions asking why my shampoo is in German. The reason it's in Germany is because I live in Germany. I'm going to empty a lot of this out and put it into one of the tubs. So that's about mm, three, two, two thirds of the tub. So they're about this much. And then I'm going to mix in a lot of conditioner. It's about half and half, so it's about half conditioner. It's about a one to one ratio. I've still got quite a bit of that, so I'm not going to mix anything with it. Rose red, I'm not going to mix anything because I've got enough for the front of my hair. And then I've just got apple green. 
anything I don't use can go back in the tub so it's not an issue. It's not like I'm wasting it if I empty it all, it doesn't develop over time or anything. So make sure we keep the tubs. And once again, mixing that with conditioner. The reason I mix with conditioner is because it just stretches the hair dye out a bit more because I've got quite long hair. Um, so it uses a lot of dye and I don't have a lot of money so I would need two regular pots I think to do all of my head in one colour or I think maybe more actually my roots eat up quite a lot um, so I just mix it with conditioner so it goes a bit further
my head. I've kind of almost kind of attempted to clean up and I'm still covered in hair dye, but that's a standard procedure when I dye my hair. I watch some people's um, hair dyeing videos and they're just like, oh, I haven't got hair dye anywhere except for on my hair. I'm amazing at life. And I don't know how they do it. I need to learn. I've been dyeing my hair now for four years. My own hair. I've had brightly coloured hair for eight years, but I've been dyeing my own hair for four years now. And I still get covered in it. So maybe I'll never learn. So I waited with that very snazzy plastic bag on my head for um, about two hours because you can leave it on for as long as you like. So I went with two hours because that's clearly the logical thing to do. Then I rinsed it out in cold water, didn't put any shampoo or anything on it because you don't want to wash out this delightful creation that you've just spent ages baking. Um, and then let it dry naturally. This is now the next day. So I've styled it with my very bad curling skills because I use my straightener and apparently I forget how to do this because I only do it once every two months when I freshly dyed my hair. Um, and then obviously I've now put makeup on so I look less dead and it took me far too long to get this lipstick to look like this so I don't care that it's uneven anymore. It just matched my hair so I had to wear it. We got the green underneath which is once again a lot greener in person. It's not as foresty as the camera's making it look. Then we got the purple, then we got a bit of blue up here, I need to put a bit more blue here because it's looking a bit greenish yellow, um, just because I clearly didn't apply it well enough. And then we got the nice pinkish red in the front, and yeah, pew, 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 pew. So yes, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something, and that you found it useful. If you did, thumbs up, or wonderful stuff, and don't forget to subscribe. I post craft tutorials usually, Corner of Craft, clues in the name, and and um, they get posted every Sunday, but then every so often I post hair videos, I do bonus videos in the week, so you get three videos a week. One of them is a craft tutorial, and then the other two are like mystery. Woo it's whatever I feel like filming, let's be honest. Um, but then you get the odd hair video as well, so if you like hair videos, you may as well subscribe because my hair is jazzy. Links to all of my social media can be found in the description box below, as well as a list of the colours that I used, just in case you want them written out for you. That is fine. And yeah. I wasn't sure if I was going to like the random sectioning, but I always like my hair a bit better once I've styled it and curled it. But it's a shame that I only curl my hair once every two months. <laughs> damaging. It's damaging. That's why I don't do it more. Thank you very much once again for watching, and I shall see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Hannah, and it's time for another plan with me. Because it's a Tuesday, and that is what we do on a Tuesday on every other Tuesday anyway. Well, it's Monday for me, but Tuesday for you. Let's get cracking.